everyone, in today's experiment, we'll be determining the second law of reflection, which says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. For this particle, we'll be using the optical board, the optical paper, your ruler, the optical pins, four optical pins, a plain mirror, a thumb pins, four thumb pins to fasten the paper on the optical board, a wooden block, and a protractor which is used to measure angles. So let's get started. Use the thumb pins to fasten the paper on, on the optical board. You force it in to hold the paper firmly on the board. Then use your ruler to draw a line. To draw a horizontal line on the paper. Please label appropriately. Label it A, B. With your protractor, draw a perpendicular line which will serve as your normal. Make sure it's on the 90 degrees point so you don't get your line wrong. Join these two points with a straight vertical line which must be perpendicular to A, B and call this point O and here N. This O, N is serving as your normal. Use your protractor to measure 30 degrees on BN, which is the right hand side of your paper. Place your protractor and make sure that the 180 degrees line is on the line AB and your 90 degrees is on the line ON. Measure 30 degrees, which is this point 80, 70 to 60. 90 minus 60 will give you 30 and in this point is 30 degrees. Join that point to O with a straight line. Put your arrow to indicate that it is the incident ray. Incident ray. And here is your incident angle. In this case, it is 30 degrees. The incident angle is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. Then you place your mirror, put two pins at point P2 and P1. Make sure that they are at least four degrees, four centimeters apart from each other. They should be at least four centimeters apart from each other. Put your wooden block to hold the mirror. Place your mirror in such a way that the middle of the mirror will be at your normal. Then look to this other side, the left hand side of your paper, which is A N. By closing one eye, gradually adjust your the other eye so that the two pins P1 and P2 will align with each other in a straight line. Then use the third pin to block pin P1 and P2. Pierce it to enter firmly. 
then use the third the fourth pin to make sure that these four pins align in a straight line with each other instead of seeing four pins i am seeing only one pin which is the last pin which means that four of them are aligned in a straight line mark the point p4 and this one p3 remove the other pins and your mirror with your block join p3 and p4 to meet at o join them to meet at o with a straight line put your arrow pointing outward to indicate it is the reflected ray and put your protractor back to measure the angle of reflection the angle of reflection is the angle between the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal in this case we have 90 degrees 80 70 and what 60 60 minus 90 will give you 30 degrees which prove that the angle of incidence is equal to the what angle of reflection here is what 30 degrees you can go ahead to do for 40 degrees 50 degrees 60 70 as the case may be thank you for watching please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe as well thank you